Okay, so I'm making some breakfast burritos. I got my bacon and my hash browns already cooked. I'm about to make some eggs for these. These are going to be good ass breakfast burritos. So we can get the egg to open. A little bit of salt and pepper. We're going to use a one skillet method for this here so I don't have to wash a ton of dishes. Being as we cook the bacon and then we cook the hash browns in that grease that was left over from the bacon. And now we're cooking the eggs and what's remainder of all that. Now once that's done, I'm going to put this other clean skillet here to heat up my tortillas and finish these suckers off and make some good ass burritos. And I'd probably end up with about, uh, I'd say maybe about four to six burritos all together. What's that? Yeah, I know you'll probably eat two. That's why I'm making what I'm making on. We got three hash browns, four slices of bacon cut in half. There's one egg. I'm gonna set that bad mamma jamma right there. See that? And we'll hit, fire up another egg. Throw that right in there. Get rid of this one too. That was kind of a mid-flight video here, but uh, it's been kind of chaotic around here this evening, so kind of bear with me. The end result will be well worth it. So yeah, I got myself a bag of shredded cheese, myself standard tortillas. Just some medium, large eggs, whatever, don't even matter. Eggs are eggs. Because of putting it inside of a burrito, it really don't matter if it's large or medium. You know, I can even use small. Don't really matter, like I said. Eggs are eggs. Don't have to be egg lands. So don't have to have no little red E on it for it to be a good egg for me. But it don't matter what I'm baking neither. Whatever the egg don't do, I compensate with some milk or butter or flour, whatever I need to do to get that shit done. And there you have one more egg up in that joint. Yeah, I think it's for the sake of argument, I'm going to make one more egg. Yeah, I know I left everybody on stall. Sorry about that shit. But whatever. I'm going to put a little oil in there. Kind of ran out after that last egg. Throw that shit around. And bust open another egg up in here. I'm going to flop that yolk all up. Some salt and pepper on that joint, too. Go ahead. By the way, these hash browns I made here, these are your great value seasoned hash browns from your local Walmart. You got a, just a touch of onion flavor up in them. Makes them really good. Makes them pop. Better than regular hash browns, they ain't got no flavor. You know, I could have really took the time and probably made some hash browns out of regular potatoes and sliced and shredded them all up, and it probably would have been a hell of a lot better. But, for the sake of time, we did it like this. Because that's how we roll. Making some breakfast burritos. There you have it, three eggs. Bam, bam, bam.
I'm going to take that other skillery out there and put that clean one there. Go ahead and open up these tortillas. I want five eggs. Well, you ain't getting no five eggs. Because they ain't putting five eggs in no burrito. Why not? That's how I do it. <laughs> See how I'd be slicing this shit all up. Half and half and half. Half a hash brown, half an egg. About a slice and a half of bacon. Something Love like you. that. How what? Love you. Love you too. All day, every day. You can go ahead and flop that tortilla right in there. Get it good and soft. Do a little video on this one. I explain to the people what I'm doing here so they understand. So they can do this at home. You ain't got to go down to the local fast food joint and buy no breakfast burrito. You can make this shit at home so much cheaper and a lot better. A lot easier. Provided you got the right ingredients. Yeah, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to wake you up or nothing. So go ahead. I woke you up? The snow woke you up or my voice? Oh, your bacon. Oh, my bacon. I figured the bacon probably got you. So far we got egg and cheese up in there. I'll go ahead and throw some bacon up in there. I'd say probably about one good slice is about all it's going to take. I'm going to cut a hash brown in half. Whoop. Go ahead and throw that one in there too. See all that? You get a good look on that. I know the lighting ain't the greatest. Whatever though. So you're going to roll this up like a regular burrito. Just like that. We have a burrito. Then go ahead and set that in the skillet. Push it down good and flat with your hand. Let it sit there for a minute. I got a cl nice clean plate to set these finished ones on. I'm going to whoop all these bad man vaginals together here and then we'll wrap up this video. Like I said, you're going to get about four to six burritos out of all this mess. Of course, me and my wife are going to eat them all, so. And there you have it. Bam! Burrito. Now you just repeat the process until you're out of food or ingredients or whatever. I know I'm going about this at a different pace. I had kind of an irritable evening. But I ain't taking it out on nobody. I'll take it out on the food. The food ain't got no feelings anyways. So whatever. There you go. We got another tortilla all softened up. Put some more egg up in there. Put some more bacon up in there. Put some more hash brown up in there. And get some cheese. Put that stuff up in there. And then you just roll this up again. And there you have another burrito. Bam! Squash that shit down flat. That way it don't all come apart when you go to eat it. See, my skillet's nice and hot, so it don't take very long at all. There we go. There, we got two of them already. Throw another tortilla up in there. Well, let's see what we got left over here for food. One, two, three, four. Yeah. yeah I got enough to make probably... About three more. Thereabouts. I'll get that out of there before I burn it. I wasn't paying attention. So I'll put some bacon. Some more egg. Some more hash brown. I'm gonna keep in mind these are whole hash brown patties. I just slice them right up the middle, cut them in half. Don't take a whole lot for the inside of these. Put some more cheese up in there. Roll that shit up. 
tuck the corners in, sides, put in the pan, squash it flat. That's pretty, pretty straightforward. Ain't a whole lot to it. It's real easy. Just about anybody can do it. I mean, sure, they ain't gonna look like what you're gonna get from the fast food restaurant. Then they definitely ain't gonna taste like it either. Well, it's a real easy process. I mean, you can't go wrong. And it ain't really even that greasy. Because you figure you're cooking. <coughs> you cook your bacon. You know, it's all good like that. And then you cook your hash browns up in there. And then you cook your eggs. You know, by the time you get done cooking all this stuff, there ain't no really grease nowhere. Especially if you let it sit and soak on these paper plates with paper towels like I did. Because the grease all gets absorbed everywhere else. Except in your stomach where you don't want it. So as you can see, I got one egg left, one hash brown, one piece of bacon. So, yeah, it's going to work out to probably about five, which is fine with me. That's about all the more I can probably eat. My wife's going to have two of these. And I'm going to have two, and we'll probably split the other one. See anybody's guess. How you doing with this one here? I'll cut cut the fifth one open. And I'll let y'all take a gander at the inside so you can see how it looks. Finished product and all. And let's go ahead and throw both them eggs up in that joint. That's actually one egg. And some cheese. See there's there's before. And go ahead and roll that sucker up. Sit it in the skillet. Of course, this is the last one. The skillet's already heated, so turn the skillet off. The heat of the skillet will do its thing. You don't need to add no extra heat to this. Close up all your stuff so your cheese don't dry up and your tortillas don't dry up. Take that last one up out of there. Set it on top of there. Now I got a little half a hash brown left. And one moment. And there you have it, everybody. Five big ass breakfast burritos. Four pieces of bacon. Three eggs. Three hash browns. Five tortillas. Five breakfast burritos. And like I said, I'll cut the fifth one open so you can see the middle. Now look at that. You got the cheese going on right here. Got some egg, the hash brown, got the bacon all up in the middle. I say they turned out pretty nice. You got a little golden brown on the tortilla. It's all beautiful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of this. Maybe even give it a try yourself and post a video toward me. And I'll take a peep at it. Until next time, take it easy, everybody.